think the fact that they moved the whole thing in one day from start to finish, no committee meetings, nothing, uh, indicates that they realize the thing has really basic flaws, and I don't think it will survive in the House. Uh, so I think it maybe is more of a uh, political statement that they want to make a cut. Well, if you want to make a cut, let's see the real cut. The idea that you can just suddenly lap off 20 percent of the state's employees who are doing bridge inspections and meat inspections and uh, doing really critical jobs, uh, it's, it's not realistic. It's one, what, one more in a long list of one-time fixes that the state has done to try to correct its structural deficit. we got too much money going out and not enough coming in. So to fix it, they're going to spend more money to get people to uh, retire and it'll cost us more and then they're going to rehire them uh, which will cost us again so it's uh, not a good solution to our problem uh, it, estimates are that from the uh, retirement office that it could be as much as 2.5 billion in liability we're taking on that's a huge number and if you retire that over 30 years you're talking about a hundred million dollars a year and they're claiming that they're going to save 200 million. Well, you're going to eat that up immediately. Uh, and their projections for 200 million are wildly optimistic. And this fits into a pattern of what we've done, where we try to take an easy way out instead of making the tough decisions that we.